Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna quickly introduce to you the role of the circulatory system. So what is the circulatory system? Well, firstly, it's a collection of blood vessels, and we know that blood vessels comprise of arteries, arterioles, capillary beds, venules and veins, but it's also the components within these blood vessels. There's, so this is blood, this is plasma, these are proteins and all the other components inside. Now what's the primary role of the circulatory system? Well, simply put, it's to deliver things such as oxygen and nutrients to the tissues of our body. Now nutrients can include glucose, it can be fatty acids, it can be amino acids, for example. And what the tissues do is they take these and they utilize them to produce energy and as the building blocks for growth and development. But when the tissues do this, they release byproducts, what we call metabolic byproducts. And if they remain in the body, they can become quite toxic. So that means the tissues will release things like carbon dioxide and wastes. And these need to be taken away by the circulatory system. So what's the primary role? The primary role is to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and for the tissues to release wastes and carbon dioxide for the circulatory system to take away. Now let's have a look at blood and some fast facts about the blood within your circulatory system. How much does it weigh? Well, it weighs around about 8% of your body weight. So if you are male, this is around about five to six liters. If you're a female, this is around about four to five liters. What's the temperature of the blood? Well, the temperature of the blood is about 38 degrees, which is around about 100.4 Fahrenheit. And the tissue type is connective. Remember, there are four tissue types within the body. This includes connective tissue, epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, and muscle tissue. And blood is connective tissue, which means it's the same tissue type as bone, for example, or cartilage, which means it's made up of cells, gels, and fibers. So what we've worked through is a very quick introduction to the circulatory system.